Hi, mister. How are you? Hope you're doing good today. This is Samuel Alvarez, and today I'm going to be uh, with my friend Mate Ruiano. We're going to explain you some interesting facts about this the, the movie that we chose. It is a Star Wars episode three, The Revenge of the Sith. So uh, we're going to start. First, what kind of movie is Star Wars episode three, The Revenge of the Sith? Star Wars uh, episode three, The Revenge of the Sith, is a science fiction movie having very great visuals for its time because it is from 2005 and uh, a lot of movies uh, from that year uh, don't have the same visual effects as this movie. And if you watch this movie like nowadays in 2021, you can see that the visual effects and the special effects are almost uh, as great as movies from uh, this year or from a year ago. So those uh, visual effects are amazing. And to prove this, the movie has great lightsaber combats with spaceship fights and robots. So uh, here is my friend Mate that is going to tell you more information. So, well, but maybe you are having this question, who directed the movie? The answer is George Lucas. The old man you can see at the right part of the image, it's George Lucas. Here you can see him with Darth Vader. Okay, thank you, Mate. Um, so, another interesting fact, it's where and when they make it. So, Lucas began writing the script before the production of Attack of the Clones, that is the second movie before this one. Um, he started in September of 2003, and the filming took place in Australia, and Thailand, Switzerland, China, Italy, and the United Kingdom. Okay, so I'm going to explain you uh, what happens in the story. And so the story is about Anakin Skywalker, who is a former Jedi Knight and the chosen one of the Jedi and the Force. And so he started to have visions of his wife dying, dying sorry, during the birth of his children. So as a nice husband that he was, he was worried about how to prevent his wife from death. So the Chancellor uh, of the Republic uh, he was bad. He was from uh, a dark side of the force uh, user. So he convinced Anakin to join him uh, to save his wife from death. So Anakin turned to the dark side of the force uh, and betrayed the Jedi, all the Jedi, and his master that is Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he became Darth Vader. Okay, so which actors are in it and what roles do they play? First of all, we had like the protagonist character of this movie and basically of the whole, the whole saga that is Hayden Christensen and he plays Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader because they are the same person. <laughs> Ewan McGregor that is Obi-Wan Kenobi, Natalie Portman that is Padme Amidala, Ian McDiarmid, uh, that is the Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, uh, most known as the Emperor Palpatine. Jimmy Smith plays Bail Organa, that is the guy who founded the the guy who founded the Rebel Alliance or the Rebellion. Sir Christopher Lee, that is Count Dooku, uh, that he is a Sith. Samuel L. Jackson, that is Mace Windu, a Jedi Master. Frank Oz that uh, plays Yoda and that I think it's a character that we all know uh, if we uh, haven't watched the, the movies. Anthony Daniels is C-3PO, like uh, the, one of the most famous robots of the movie industry that is the one that is uh, with gold paint in the picture. Temuera Morrison that plays C Commander Cody and an interesting fact about this, um, he also played 1.2 million roles in that movie. And you might be asking yourself like 1.2 million roles? And yes, because they were like, uh, or maybe more than 1.2 million, there were like 3 million of clones uh, in, in that movie. And the clones were like the, military service of the Republic. 
So, and every clone uh, is uh, played by Temora Morrison. So that is great and a very interesting fact. Kenny Baker is R2-D2, that is also a very famous robot, and Peter Mayhew plays Chewbacca. And also this movie had won many awards. For example, um, best science fiction movie, best music, printed person poster, best mini design, makeup her, most memorable scene that is Anakin versus Obi-Wan, one of the last scenes of the movie, and also the best billion. And the list continued with many more awards, but I decided only to put these ones because I considered it the most important ones. Okay, thank you, Mate. So here we're going to tell you why do uh, we like it and me. I like it because I'm a really big fan of Star Wars since I was a little kid. And I remember like my uncle is also a Star Wars fan, but I consider myself like an ultra fan. So I think I am more fan of him. But I remember that he uh, one day he told me, hey, do you want to see, do you want to watch one movie? And uh, I told him yes, and I didn't know which movie it was, and it started, and I liked it. And when I watched the, or when I saw the lightsabers, I knew that it was a Star Wars because, I mean, it is like the, the most important and the most famous weapon that uh, of Star Wars. And uh, the other thing that I like uh, is also because it connects really well with the first trilogy and explains how Anakin Skywalker became in Darth Vader. Because in the first trilogy, we know that there's Luke Skywalker, that is uh, Anakin's son, but we didn't know who was Darth Vader or why he uses that mask and that iconic uh, helmet. But uh, here in, in this movie, they explain to us like why does he uses it, and like the whole explanation of the saga, and also, also it has amazing scenes and wonderful soundtrack, uh, because the uh, amazing scenes can be like this lightsaber combats or the spaceship fights. I mean, they, they are great, and the soundtrack. I think personally, I think that the soundtrack of the Revenge of the Sith is the best soundtrack that I have ever heard in a movie. And I think it, it is truly a masterpiece. So, well, why I like this movie? It's because, you know, all the things that Samu said, the great scenes, the great special effects, um, the, <laughs> the effects that they use for traveling at like speed, the light cybers, I think it's one of the most um, iconic and one of the most best doing weapons in the cinematographic history. Um, well, I'm not a fan of Star Wars. <laughs> really, the reason that I why I decided to see the saga was because someone told me that these movies were amazing, and I said so. Well, let let's try it, and well, I I like it, and I especially um like this one because I. No, the story that Samu already told to us, the the special effects that we already mentioned. And yeah, I think it's one of the best uh, movies I had ever seen in my life. And that's why I like this movie. Um, well, here you can see some photos and links of the music from the movie. Samu is going to explain us what these photos are from. Okay, thank you, Martin. So uh, in these photos, uh, in the photo of the left, we can see uh, Emperor Palpatine that was the man like influenced like the Anakin for turning to the dark side. Uh, uh, Emperor Palpatine is fighting uh, Master Yoda uh, because uh, Master Yoda's intentions was to finish uh, or kill Palpatine for do not let the empire to rise and be so violent with a galaxy. And the image from the right is Anakin, the protagonist of this movie on the saga, and versus his master or his ex-master Obi-Wan. And they are going like to uh, fight and it is a very intense fight, but I like it. It is one of the 
my favorite uh, fights of the saga. And the link is the music from the battle of Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Anakin Skywalker. And I think this is all, mister. Thank you for everything. I uh, hope to have a nice rest of the day and see you next uh, class. And I, I don't know if Mati is going to tell you something. But... Yeah, Mr. At the same time, Samu, have a nice day. See you next class, I hope. We hope you all had enjoyed this video and you had learned a lot of this amazing movie. Have a nice rest of the day. Bye. Bye, mister.